What's up everybody, Bryce the Brave aka Cataclysmic here with another Dragon Ball Legends video. Today we are going to be talking about the second anniversary reveals from the stream that was just released. I haven't been posting any videos lately, been kind of just looking forward to this second anniversary. I've been playing some other games, Terraria just came out with a new update, but um, other than that, we're gonna jump right into it. So the first character that we do have revealed here is gonna be Omega Shenron. He's gonna be a type red with the tag Shadow Dragon GT, Regen, Absorption, Fusion Warrior, and Powerful Opponent. All my information is gonna come right from the stream. I'm just gonna read it off and try to get through it as quick as possible. So they said he's going to be a damage dealer excelling in both strike and blast, increases damage inflicted and reduces damage sustained by being on the field, inflicts multiple status ailments on arts card hit, and increases ally ultimate attack damage on special move, especially powerful on teams with multiple ultimate attacks. So from the live stream, it seems like every, every single one of the new characters is coming out with an ultimate, so this is gonna be very good. As far as his typing goes, he's only going to be um, replacing the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or possibly your GT Goku for your GT teams. Um, I think that's fine uh, for those characters. The Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, it's gonna be uh, preference. I think this Vegeta is a little squishy. Now, I do also wanna say that as far as Omega Shenron being on Fusion Warriors, I feel like he's not gonna be viable on the team, but you can run him there. Uh, I feel like he's definitely going to be buffing GT and possibly Powerful Opponent. I feel like Powerful Opponent is gonna be the hidden tag and going on to the uh, the next character here, um, let's see, where is it? It's gonna be Super Saiyan, okay, how do we say this? <laughs> Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Son Goku. He's going to be Type Green with the tag Saiyan, Super Saiyan 4, GT, and Sun Family. So my guess would be he's gonna buff GT and Sun Family just like the purple Super Saiyan 4 Goku currently does. Um, main damage source is going to be blast attack, so he's obviously going to be uh, range type, I'm assuming. When using blast attacks, gain multiple buffs, increases defense when paired with other same characters in the party. Heals when ultimate attack lands, so that'll be really good running alongside uh, Omega Shenron. Balanced and built for comeback. So as far as green typing for the GT team, um, your best bet is going to be replacing uh, the GT Goku, depending on the Z ability that these characters come with, I feel like that's going to be the deciding factor for your GT team, because I, I find it hard to believe that any of these Z abilities are going to be as strong as a double defense for GT, but if they are, you know, replaces, follows, I feel like Baby's still going to be on here, he's going to be really good. This EX Goku, if you don't have him, grind him up to 6 star. GT is going to be very powerful with these two new characters. Um, I would say Team Comp is definitely going to be consisting of the Purple Goku, the Red Omega Shenron, and the Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Sun Goku Green type. So next up, we're going to take a look at the Super Saiyan Trunks Team Rage. I think his best team is definitely going to be uh, Future. He's going to be type yellow, so he will get buffed by the Goku Black Zenkai ability. And his tags will be Hybrid Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Future, and Vegeta Family. So as far as um, team comp goes, I feel like his best team is still going to be Future. Um, we'll take a look at the Future Yellow units. We do have a couple powerful yellow units here. We have the Zenkai Goku Black, of course, the, um, uh, what is his name, Full Power, uh, Perfect Cell, uh, the Super Saiyan Gohan, um, I feel like this is going to be an, an immediate replacement for any yellow unit you have on future, uh, reduces damage sustained when on field and cover cut, heals with quirk skill, that's really good, reduces character switch cooldown when opponent activates a rising rush. So Toshi said this is going to be a new mechanic that I'm guessing is going to be more relevant with more characters. Uh, it seems like a lot of characters, they're, they're including a rising rush mechanic. They're trying to uh, 
uh, change rising rush by adding um, passive abilities to their new units. I think that's okay. Now they also said increase effectiveness against characters with attack god key and regeneration. So this is going to be really good uh, because regeneration is always going to be relevant. God key is very relevant. Both of those teams are very good. So having a damage buff against those two, especially with the coming characters, is going to be very good. Because including uh, the next character coming up is going to be Fuse Amasu. Uh, he's going to be purple type god key, future regen, fuse warrior, patara, powerful opponent. So I feel like this character is possibly going to buff future and powerful opponent or possibly god key and powerful opponent. I really hope they do buff or give the Z ability to powerful opponents so we can see a new tag emerge, a new unique teams. I want to see some different team comps coming with this new anniversary. So the Fuse Amasu is going to come with uh, gains multiple buffs as battle prolongs, gains multiple buffs after enemy attacks, decreases enemy key and gains more buffs with quirk skill, pushes the enemy away when cover cutting enemy strike attacks, Show his true power the longer the battle lasts with his buffs. Toshi specifically said this is possibly one of his uh, new favorites and that this uh, unit is going to be very annoying for the enemy uh, to deal with. So I feel like this is going to be the shining unit coming out of these four. Now the, the last unit that they did reveal was Blue Vegito, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito from the future saga i they they showed no information if he is blue however he will be buffed by the zenkai trunks that they also announced in this i also want to make mention that god key is getting super saiyan god shallot still there was no further information on super saiyan god shallot so we will be seeing a i'm guessing more information coming up i mean it's, it's right around the corner. Next week is going to be this uh, this anniversary. I do also want to say um, this Zenkai Trunks is going to be very useful, especially if the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is blue because he will be on future and he will possibly be buffing the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. However, uh, based on the Kid Goku, he's probably going to buff... Uh, the Dragon Ball Legends saga. We'll see if they do anything different with that. Um, as far as the Zenkais go though, Super Saiyan Trunks Team Rage is going to be yellow. So if you do have that uh, yellow Goku Black Zenkai, or if you haven't grinded him up yet, I would say it's a good idea to just have that Zenkai Goku Black on bench to buff your Super Saiyan Trunks Team Rage. Um, so that's going to be about it. I just wanted to uh, kind of go over the characters and what kind of team comps, uh, what kind of replacements they're going to be doing. The This is really hype for me. Um, I'm really hype about GT specifically because uh, I feel like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is still being hidden. Now with last anniversary, we did get Golden Frieza. Um, Buhan, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta, and Super Vegito. Super Vegito was the LF on both banners. I feel like what they might do is have two separate banners. So I'm thinking it's going to be Super Saiyan Trunks Teen Rage with Merge Zamasu and the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, along with a second GT banner with the Omega Shenron Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Sun Goku and a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. If that does happen, I, I'm i going super hard in the GT banner for sure. I already have this uh, Extreme GT Goku to 7 stars. He is giving the health buff to all GT members. Uh, this team is going to be very formidable after this, uh, this anniversary. So... That's going to be it about uh, the second anniversary. Let me know who the most hype unit for you is. If you think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is coming, are you hyped for that? Which one is going to be more likely for your summons? What are you going to be spending your crystals on? Would you rather spend them on a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta if he does release? 
or would you rather spend them on a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta rather? And are you disappointed that Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta is not going to be on this anniversary? Let me know down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you.